What's going on my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today what I want to do is give you a tour of my brand new 65 inch video booth. This booth has been a long time in the making. I've been working on it basically all winter. I finally have it pretty much completely done. A couple little finishing touches and uh, it'll be ready for its first event at the end of this month. So let me flip this camera around. I will show you guys a uh, quick walkthrough of everything that I've done. Basically what I did is I took my original booth made a bunch of changes, got rid of all the things that I didn't like, and uh, added some new features, things like that. So let me flip the camera around and I'll give you guys a quick tour of the booth. All right guys, so here it is. That's a 65 inch Vizio TV. It's all trimmed out again with the PVC um, paneling, paneling and trim here. Here's my old booth. So this piece here is actually gonna be the front. It's gonna go down on the bottom there to trim it out. And I'm gonna put hinges on there to wrap around the sides so you won't be able to see the casters. Still, work, still working on that. That's one of the last finishing touches. But as you come around the booth here, we've got our little, like it's a six inch display. That's gonna be displaying, you know, what's on the front of the booth. I added some, uh, this is RGB, just, I don't know, that stick on like TV backlighting type stuff uh, just to give us a little bit of accent light to the top of the booth here. Uh, inside the booth, the biggest reason that I went with a 65 over the, six, over the 55 that I had was this extra space. So the turntables and stuff just fit in here way, way better. This is my brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, we've got one thing that's great about this is it's back to the MagSafe charger, even though it doesn't uh, use the same as the old one. Um, the USB-C, so this is a chroma cable. If you aren't buying chroma cables, you definitely should be. So that's a chroma cable there connected to the Rain 70. And then over here, we have the sound switch control one. I'm getting a wrap made for that. So this will be wrapped white to match this stuff here. Um, this is the custom antenna mount that I made here. So I'm running two microphones out of this out of this booth now. Um, this Mac or this laptop arm, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, the entire frame is made out of the same stuff that the Toadmatic booths are made out of. It's the or similar. It's the 8020 aluminum. Um, ordered that. You know, I basically just came up with my own custom design and. Uh, built the frame and I trimmed it all out. This paneling came from Home Depot. So this is all Home Depot. This trim came from Menards. If you don't have a Menards local, you can probably get it at Lowe's or Home Depot as well. Um, this bracket, pretty simple. Just some uh, flat aluminum stock, a couple of L brackets and uh, some bolts. So super easy. As we come down this middle shelf here, this is just uh, got a power strip in there. That's a tripod for my GoPro. This is actually a battery pack for the Sennheiser EWD mics. So no more double A's. I'll be using these batteries from now on. So super cool. I did not realize that they made these. So I just picked that up. So I got two of those. Probably gonna order at least one backup. So I have three just in case. Here we've got the RCF, uh, it's the F6X. Uh, mixer, so same mixer that I had in the other booth. Considering upgrading to the QHC Touch Mix 8, possibly, or something similar, haven't decided yet. So here's a Rode um, Mic Go. I've been dabbling a little bit with trying to use this as a wireless mic. It actually works well, or not wireless mic, but a wireless speaker. So right now I have it hooked up to my auxiliary out, and I was running it over to a speaker on the other side of the garage just testing it. It works well. So as we move down, I've got two of the EWD Sennheiser mics. I have them color coded, mic, the white mic and the blue mic, and you can see it there as well. And then they are in there. So two wireless mics. I really am loving these EWD mics. They're pretty awesome. We've got two drawers. As you can see, this one's empty. And then as we move down, we've got a Furman power conditioner. And then I have a trip light power strip below that. So the trip light's tied into the Furman. 
and actually what I did is I cut the cord off the trip light and made it shorter and then I turned the extra 15 foot of trip light cable into a power con cable so I put a power con connector on the end of it so here we have the main outs so I've got two main outs and then the other two I haven't wired up yet but those are gonna be auxiliary outs most likely and then I got a lot of slots left here to add some other stuff I might do some inputs things like that but as far as powering the speakers, I'm gonna be running the power cables to the speakers directly into that trip light. And then there's the power con. So that's what powers the entire booth. So power con out. And then I'll show you here what I was talking about. So this was the leftover cable from that trip light. And I just put a power con end on the end of it. And I like the fact that it already has the right angle plug. So I'm probably gonna use this one out at gigs. And I just had this other one that I already made. But yeah, that's it guys. So it's all trimmed out with a PVC trim. Looking pretty sharp. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Be happy to answer any questions for you guys. So as far as questions go, um, I'm not gonna give you the dimensions of the booth and things like that. If you want to build one. Honestly, just do the math. Um, it's not that hard to do. So I'll figure out what you need. Basically build it around the TV. That'd be my best advice is get your TV dimensions, build the booth based off of that. The reason I'm not gonna give you the dimensions is for one, um, you know, I made this custom to my height, so it's not gonna work for everyone. I'm 6'5", I'm a lot bigger than most people. So if a normal sized person got behind there, the turntables would be way too high. So figure the dimensions out on your own. Um, but yeah, the the frame and stuff is the 8020 aluminum. If you're not interested in building one yourself and you want to buy one, highly recommend the Togmatic booths. He makes super quality products, very similar to this, just not going to be trimmed out. You can trim it out yourself once you pick it up. So uh, again, guys, if you need links to anything, let me know. I can get you the links to everything. I'll try to link everything down in the description that I have in the booth. But if I miss anything, let me know. Happy to help you out. If you have any questions, again, hit me up in the comments. Um, let me know what you think about it too. Let me know. Uh, I'd love to know if you think it looks good or if it looks tacky or what. So let me know down in the comments. Um, as always guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.